What's up travelers? How you doing? Good to see you. It's been a little while since I actually recorded a video and realized it's also been a while when I'm posting this since I uploaded a video. So um, yeah, time to pull myself together. But anyway, today I'm reviewing Qatar Business Class. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Dan, what the heck? Qatar Business Class is the last review in the world we want to see from you. Well, the truth is it's actually been more than a year since I posted a real review of Qatar Business. So I think it's about time to post an update. I also haven't reviewed Qatar's old A350 Business Class product, so let's go see what it's like. But first, a message from my sponsor, because now is a very uncertain time in the world. Most of us are staying at home and social distancing, so what better time to binge Netflix? Well, what if I told you that there's an easy way to improve your Netflix experience at least tenfold while making your internet browsing safer as well. I present my sponsor, NordVPN, who have your back right now. Download NordVPN and you can connect to 56 different countries, all of which have different selections on Netflix. So for me, I know this sounds random since I don't really have any connections to this country, but my favorite country to connect to on NordVPN is Australia. So I can use their Netflix since they have so many shows I like, for example, all four seasons of The Good Place, which is a show I really recommend, which aren't available pretty much anywhere else on Netflix. Since hackers are also quarantined and working really hard right now, I'm also really happy to know that NordVPN is keeping my computer and my information safe in the meantime. You can download NordVPN right now by going to the link at the top of the description and you'll get 70% off using my link if you get a three year plan and several extra months for free. So click the link to enhance your entertainment selection even more, but now on with the video. My favorite, lemon mint scented hot towel served on a tray. Oscar's favorite, so Jenny. All right, so now we can get a good look at the cabin. This is the entryway, how stunning is this? If you can see the design on the ceiling, the entryway over here, and here is my seat where I'll be sitting. I just moved to the window seat for takeoff because why not when it's available? I can sit out here and look at the view. So as you can see, <laughs> the leg rest is down there, but if you're in bulkhead, you have this little extra compartment here. Wow, for storage, that's so awesome. More storage, seat controls, more storage, even more storage, remote, tray table. This flight is operating Kojak Shoga Coach Air Partners, British Airways S7 Airlines, Sri Lankan Airlines, Finnair, and Iberia. at that mark. The truth is, it feels so good being back. Just from boarding, the experience, it, the experience is so, so different from what you get on any other airline in terms of service. It really is. The cabin crew on Qatar works just so insanely hard. They're literally serving drinks, running around. Everyone is introducing themselves. Everyone wants to help you. Everyone is like clearing drinks and towels and taking meal orders until the second the plane enters the runway, then everyone sits down. One minute after takeoff, they get up again and start working. It's so insanely intense. And they, I just want to recognize Qatar cabin crew for the hard work they do. So now let's have a look at the amenities. We've got an amenity we got an amenity kit on this under five hour flight and we have the menus to check out so let's do it and here is the amenity kit and its contents from Napa Dori um, this is Qatar's medium haul amenity kit on flights over three hours you get this uh, up to I guess six um, socks eye mask lip balm 
All right, so wine list first. Let's see. Champagne, other wine, even more wine, a little bit more wine, ending with some more wine, and all the other alcoholic stuff. So here is the food for today. I ordered the Arabic meze. Such a beautiful Q suite door menu. And here are the non-alcoholic drinks minus the mocktails. Not sure why they don't have them on here, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> Warm nuts, my favorite is pineapple margarita. Oh, it's so good. Can you see the sugar or salt? I think it's salt coating around the drink. Oh. So here is the meal which has started with this salad. I got my oil and vinegar, got a bread basket, some still water, and as always, such beautiful presentation by the crew all served straight on the table. So for Oscar, we ordered the Oriental Vegetarian, as you can see here, some tofu in a sauce with rice and some veggies. Looks quite good. I forgot I ordered this, so I have the meza here with some hummus, tabbouleh, some really nice Arabic bread, and also to drink apple cooler. I mean, come on guys, how amazingly beautiful is the presentation of this meal. I'm the one who screwed up the cutlery here because I put it there myself, but seriously. And the main course, which is the Western vegan option today. Some couscous, like a ragu type ratatouille thing. Uh, looks healthy and yummy. Of course, I'm watching The Martian, which is really, really good so far. It's my first time watching it. I'm very delayed, I know. And last but not least, we have dessert. Some fruits and jasmine tea. All right, so I got one more hot towel here. Also rose scented, and uh, I'm about to chill, keep watching the Martian, and I have a few important comments to give you guys toward the end regarding this fight, more equipment changes, and some other notes uh, that are relevant. So I'll see you soon. I'm gonna watch the rest of the movie. We got an hour and a half of the film to go, so. from the incredible Arrivals Lounge for Qatar Business Class Passengers and First Class Passengers here in Doha. You get uh, seating, you can get drinks, you can get so much stuff, private immigration, and then just clear through when your bags have made it. But anyway, sorry for not talking too much during the flight. Uh, I ended up having some really nice sleep and one big takeaway for me was that the old, old, which is still like less than five years old, reverse herringbone on the A350 is much nicer than the one on the 787 just because the A350 is wider. So the bed was so comfortable in my opinion. Um, I had a great rest. Also, I thought the catering was impressive on this flight. The service was, um, as I always say, the service on Qatar range is from great to mind-blowingly amazing. And I think today for me, it was mind-blowingly amazing. Again, I had the coolest flight attendant, Jenny, from Papua New Guinea. She gave me a whole list, like literally two pages she filled with tips uh, for when we visit Papua New Guinea, whenever that will be. Uh, so it was just such a great flight overall. Uh, now I'm going to head to the Intercontinental, which is one of my favorite hotels in Doha. Uh, not the city one, the other one, so I'm going to show you it. So really, has anything changed in guitar business? Not really that I could tell, um, although the only thing I noticed was they didn't have mocktails on the menu on this flight for some reason, but for a, for a five hour flight, I mean the seat, the service, the amenity kit, everything you get is just so top notch. Also, one thing I forgot to mention earlier was that there was actually an equipment change on this flight. 
and I was like, no, please, please, please. But it was supposed to be a LATAM A350, and originally I was bummed that it got switched because LATAM, the seats are so great for um, traveling together. But as it turns out, since these reverse herringbone seats on Qatar aren't as private as literally all the other reverse herringbones that exist, it's not really a problem to sit together in the middle. We could see each other, we could talk very easily. So that's a good takeaway that you won't, even though you're kind of far apart, uh, you're not super socially isolated, but then you should also consider if you are traveling alone, it's maybe not the best seat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for coming along with me today and uh, let's go check out the hotel here in Doha, shall we? Here is the beautiful, bright bathroom uh, and oh I have to show you I thought this was so fascinating on my Instagram how there is a shower and a bathtub in its own little room so you can just go back and forth I guess <laughs> and then out here we have the gorgeous room this is the intercontinental and we have these beautiful welcome amenities voila this is my home here in Doha.